Okay, so uh, this is Toby and his, uh, his dog Yazoo. Hey Yazoo! <laughs> um, and uh, so Toby's been very busy. Um, how would you describe the environment where you live, Toby? Oh, uh, well, I'm in a sheltered housing complex that's owned by Powys County Council. I arrived here, I don't know what, just over 10 years ago and sat looking out of a a window onto just some boring green grass and so this is the this is the green patch here the green grass that Toby was at describing just now and um, there we well, go that's, that's originally when I arrived it was just green grass that was was cut and then they left the cutting behind so the cutting rotted and looked pretty awful um, anyway after a few years looking at this scene of wastage I realised I was going to be spending quite a well probably the rest of my life here so I thought it would be quite nice to try and change it and improve to bring a bit more life to the whole area okay and so it's probably five years ago we started trying to uh, encourage a meadow and get a few trees planted and get some more flowers and what have you growing to encourage more wild insects and other life bird life into the area and was there a particular area that you'd seen beforehand that had inspired you to do that? Uh, not any specific area as such, I don't think it was just a, it started off as just an idea and it's kind of grown so it was quite small in the beginning and then as time's gone on we've just expanded it and we've sort of gone with the whole area and just with with the feelings of the residents, the other residents here just to see, so it's really just developed a, a life of its own, we've let it kind of take its own course but helped it along a bit. Right and so you, you mentioned that you'd expanded into the area so if we just have a little look so um, Toby at the moment is sat um, on the edge of the um, the estate the housing um, and you can see the fence here we've got some roses that are planted um, and we'll show you some photos of it during the summer and then there's a, a green space just over so the, these small trees they're the ones that you've planted, are they? The small ones are, yeah, they've got silver birch in there, a couple of apples, there's an oak tree. Uh, and we might put one more on, but we want to keep it open so we can get flowers in as well. We don't want to close it right off. So it's getting a sort of balance between trees and an open, more open meadowy type feel to it. Yeah. And then, and you expanded here. So this is the rugby pitch, isn't it? This is kind of where, where um, the houses overlook. Um, and we can see here we've got the bog standard rugby pitch and then towards the edges we've got this lovely wild kind of area um, and how did you go about doing that how did you persuade you know people to to let you expand into this space well that's where the local funds for nature's kind of come in because this this area is under different branch of power so it's actually under the control of parks and recreation the rugby pitch or the rugby club are responsible for the pitch itself so this area was regarded as a simply a waste area which is you know to me was is the fact it's only a waste because nothing's being done with it so obviously with council cutbacks and money and all the rest of it when they were approached about sort of taking it over to encourage life they they were very grateful and they've come along and they've given us quite a lot of support certainly moral support and just uh, helping us to develop and add bring more life more wildflowers and all the rest of it and we've got a, a grant this year to improve it further so watch this space